Operators of public utility jeepneys that have complied with the mandate to consolidate into cooperatives or corporations have been given five years to replace aging units with the so-called modern PUVs. Will the traditional jeepney disappear? Motoring Forum discusses this possibility. The public utility jeepney has been the primary mode of mass transportation in cities and towns for decades. And for decades, the basic look of the jeepney has been the same. Aside from passengers sitting beside driver in the front seats, all others sit on benches running the length of the sides accessed from the opening in the back. All are powered by diesel engines, mostly second-hand ones that don't meet emission standards. In other words, smoke belters. The government's public utility vehicle modernization program seeks to change all that. Under the PUVMP, jeepneys fall under Class 2 PUVs with around 23 seating capacity with side-facing bench seats. While the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board is the main government agency that will oversee the PUVMP, the Bureau of Philippine Standards of the Department of Trade and Industry sets and defines the size, safety features, and other requirements for different classes of PUVs. Specific dimensions for the interior allow for majority of Filipinos to stand straight in the middle aisle of Class 2 PUVs. The requirements also include or encourage the installation of such modern amenities as air conditioning, CCTVs, Wi-Fi. Also mandated are side doors for ingress and egress, no more wide-open back entry. Modern PUVs must also be powered by engines that comply with Euro 4 emission standards or battery-powered electric motors. The PUVMP seeks to phase out individual PUV franchises by mandating consolidation into cooperatives and corporations. The deadline for consolidation has passed and operators are now expected to begin to replace aging jeepneys with units that meet modern PUV standards. The government has set a five-year timetable and expects that around 2030, only modern PUVs are plying routes. Even after the deadline for consolidation, many transport groups continue to oppose the PUVMP, citing the loss of livelihood for individual drivers and operators of jeepneys who can't afford modern PUVs. Many are also opposing the PUVMP, citing the loss of a cultural icon, colorful and uniquely decorated traditional jeepneys that have served commuters for decades. Some also cite the loss of livelihood for workers in the local manufacture of traditional jeepneys. Will the traditional jeepney disappear, or will it remain? even if with just the iconic look of the cultural icon. According to a Rapsod News report, 33 models of Class 2 PUVs have been approved or accredited by government as of June 20, 2024. Approved Class 2 PUV Brands and Models Most of the approved Class 2 PUV brand model or prototype is cued the iconic look of traditional jeepneys. They look more like minibuses or vans, adding to the fears of some that the country is losing a cultural icon. The approved Class 2 PUVs cost an average of 2 million pesos plus, buttressing the argument of those opposing the PUVMP that they may be too expensive for most cooperatives as well as individual operators and drivers. 19 of those in the list are classified as locally made. However, locally assembled Class 2 PUVs need only to have 25% of local components to be classified as locally made. Also, the absence of pioneering brands at local GB manufacturing such as Sarao and Francisco Motors is particularly glaring. Many other makers of traditional jeepneys are reported to have closed shop amid government's push for modernization. Elmer Francisco Francisco Motors has recently rolled out a modern PUV prototype that carries the iconic look of traditional jeepneys with plans to use battery-powered electric powertrains as an option. However, the prototype has not yet gotten government approval. 
Earlier, China-made Class 2 vehicle featuring the iconic GP look also made the rounds of news reports. Those pushing the PEV modernization program, including transport groups that have taken advantage of the incentives and benefits offered by government, say commuters are now appreciating the comfort and convenience provided by modern PUVs already servicing various routes. Many commuters express some sadness over the possible disappearance of traditional GPs, but most are not voicing protests against the modernization program. Some are even angered by the transport strikes to protest modernization. Will the traditional GP finally disappear? Only time will tell. How short or long will be determined by whether government and transport authorities have the political will to push through with modernization. Perhaps commuters will determine the fate of traditional jeepneys. Will they still prefer riding in aging jeepneys when air-conditioned PUVs are readily available and are as affordable? That's our morning forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.